This is so you can make an advanced reminder system for your Discord.js version 14 bot. So let's go ahead and get started. Before I show you how to do this, I'd like to say that if you're interested in getting the source code from this video or any of the other videos on my channel, you can go ahead and join a god tier on Discord, or you can go ahead and join a super or god tier subscription on YouTube. We also offer the bot tier on both sites. This is a full zip file of the exact bot used in the tutorial videos. You can also get any of these three bot packages. They are fully coded Discord bots based on a specific topic. All of this will be in the description below if you're interested. And with that, let's go ahead and get into the code. All right, so the first thing that you're gonna go ahead and do is go ahead and go over to your schemas, go ahead and create reminder.js, go ahead and save user string, rem time string, urgent boolean, and reminder string. After you go ahead and do this, we can go ahead and close out and we're gonna go over to commands in here. We can just go ahead and create a reminder.js. We're gonna start off by getting our slash command builder and our embed builder from our discord.js package, as well as our reminders from the schema. You can just make it like this. We're also gonna get our MS package from the MS package. You can do npm i, and then you can do MS within your terminal if you need to install it. This is going to allow us to convert like if we put in one day, this is going to convert one day to milliseconds, making this super easy for user input. Now let's go ahead and do module.exports and we can go ahead and open this up. Let's get our data, which is going to be our new slash command builder. We can go ahead and set a name, which is going to be a reminder. Let's go ahead and set a description. We can go ahead and say, sets a reminder then let's add a string option and we can do option arrow function option dot set name the name is going to be reminder the description is going to be what do you want to remind yourself and we're going to set required to true after that we can go ahead and add another string option with the name when and then we're going to say when do you want to remind yourself and we're going to set required to true there as well and then we're going to add a boolean which is going to be urgency and we're going to basically say is this reminder urgent then we're going to go ahead and set required on that to true as well. And we can do async executes. We can get our interaction and we can go ahead and open this up. Let's start by getting our options from our interaction. And we can do const reminder equals options that get string. And that's going to be our reminder. We're going to do const when equals options that get string. We're going to get our when. We're going to go ahead and do const urgency equals options that get boolean urgency. And then we're going to do const duration equals and we're going to use our ms package for our when variable so we're going to go ahead and convert um, the input to a millisecond time then we're going to go ahead and write out our send message function so we can do send message let's go ahead and get our message we're just going to set our embed and we can do embed builder let's go ahead and set a color this is going to be blurple we can go ahead and set a description here and it's going to be message and then we can do await interaction that reply and we're going to go ahead and get our embeds and we're also going to go ahead and get our embed and let's go ahead and set informal to true on that now we're going to go ahead and check to see if the duration that we get is a number because sometimes the user input is not going to actually be a proper ms input so if that's the case we need to just return a reply saying that is not a proper date so to do that, we're gonna say if, and we can do is not a number, uh, just like this. And we're gonna go ahead and get our duration. Then we can go ahead and return await send message. Within this, we can go ahead and get our caution emoji. And we can go ahead and get when is not a number. And we can say use your number followed by the time. And then we can give some examples here. Now let's go ahead and create our schema. So we're gonna do await ram.create and let's go ahead and get our user, which is going to be our interaction .user.id. We're gonna get our rem time, which is going to be our date.now. And then we're going to add our duration to it. We're gonna do urgent um, and that is going to be our urgent variable. Uh, and then we're also gonna go ahead and do reminder uh, and that is going to be our reminder string. So that's all of our data we're gonna need. Okay, so now let's go ahead and do await send message. And we're going to go ahead and say, I have set a reminder for when in backslash take. And we're going to go ahead and say, from now saying, and then a reminder in bold. So that the command is done. This is very simple. Essentially, all we had to do is create a schema um, and then handle some errors because our main logic for this is going to be within the next file that we're about to create. So let's go ahead and do that. We can go over to events. So within this, we're going to go ahead and get our embed builder and our events from our discord.js package. And we're going to go ahead and get our reminder schema. Then we're going to do module.exports. And we can go ahead and get our events from our name. And we're going to do client ready. Uh, and then we can do async execute. And we're going to get our client and we can open this up. Let's get our embed. So we're going to do const embed equals new embed builder. And we're going to go ahead and set a color. And we're going to make this red. And we're going to set our title. And then we can just get a caution emoji. And we can go ahead and say reminder 
just like that. So this is going to be the embed we're going to send all the time, and then we're going to modify it in the function. So let's go ahead and do async function, and we can go ahead and do schedule reminder, and we're going to go ahead and get our reminder data and we can go ahead and open this up so within this we're going to do const delay equals reminder data and then we can do dot rem time and then we can do minus date dot now just like that then we can say if delay is less than or equal to zero then we're just going to go ahead and return then we're going to go ahead and set our timeouts and we're going to do an async function and we can go ahead and open this up we're going to go ahead and set the timeout to our delay variable so that after that amount of time expires we're going to go ahead and run whatever's inside of it it's going to be after the date that the reminder was scheduled to be sent at so essentially what we have to do is we're going to open up a try catch and we can go ahead and catch an error there so within this part let's go ahead and do const member equals await client.users.fetch and we're going to get our reminder data and we can do dot user then we're going to do if and we can do reminder data dot urgent then we can go ahead and open this up and we're going to do awaits and we can do member dot send and we're going to go ahead and get our caution emoji and we can just go ahead and say urgent reminder just like that we're also going to go ahead and catch an error uh, just in case we have an error um, but instead of doing that let's just go ahead and console dot error so we can just console error instead of actually catching it that way we get a response um, and then we can do embed dot set description and we're going to do reminder data dot reminder uh, and then we can do await member dot send and we're going to go ahead and get our embeds and we're going to get our embed just like that then we're going to go ahead and delete this schema so we can do await reminder dot deletes one and we're going to go ahead and get our id and we're going to do reminder data dot and then we can do id just like that because after we send the reminder we no longer want to hold the data within our database so we can just go ahead and get rid of it so now what we have to do is we have to do const data equals await reminder dot find so we have to get all of the data from our reminder schema then we can do data dot for each and we're going to schedule a reminder here data dot watch and then we can go ahead and do dot on and then we're going to do change and then we can do async and we can do change and we can go ahead and open this up within this we're going to go ahead and say if and we can do change to operation type equals uh, and we can do inserts then we can open this up as well and we're going to do const new reminder equals change that full document then we can go ahead and schedule our new reminder so this is going to be a watch event for any data changes that occur within our database so anytime the reminder schema is updated with an insert, we're going to go ahead and get that entire change document and schedule the reminder for it. All right, now before we actually go ahead and restart the bot, I did catch a quick error that I made. So instead of getting our data uh, dot watch, we're actually going to go ahead and do reminder dot watch because the reminder is going to be the entire reminder schema and not just the data we pulled on the initial ready event. So this is going to be able to watch for any changes that happen uh, during the time that the bot is on and not just from the initial data set. So with that change in mind, let's go ahead and save the files, restart the bot, and test this out. So over in the Discord, let's go ahead and run our reminder command. We can go ahead and say testing reminder, and we can go ahead and just set it to one minute, and we can set urgency to true just to test that system out. So now it's going to say I've set a reminder for one minute, uh, saying testing reminder. So in one minute, we're going to get a DM from the bot with the reminder. All right, and exactly one minute after we sent this reminder, we have a DM from the bot with our actual reminder. So as you can see, we're going to get an urgent reminder message, and it's going to say testing reminder, exactly what we sent uh, within the command. So because we're using a watch event, this can actually get really specific. So if we just go ahead and set a random reminder, we can literally set it to three seconds from now. Um, with no urgency this time and in three seconds exactly we're going to get a dm from the bot so yeah, after three seconds passes we have a dm from the bot all right so that's how you can make an advanced reminder system for your discord.js version 14 bot if you do need any help with this go ahead and join the server in the description below and use our help channels here and we'll be happy to help you out and you might as well just join anyways because this is a pretty good coding community and with that i will see you guys in the next video